Hello everybody. Now today I will talk about like GMM. Now at first like I will let, let you do some pictures of it. Like they're all delicious food. Like the in daily life we eat. And how many food as need of as need of air and sleeping. We know more and learn more about food we used to eat. Like if we if we eat raw food, like eating some food together, like milk and some um, some like potatoes, like different potatoes, you will get like air. And do you know your food source? Yeah. I know it's uh, not that far. food. Like, it's food uh, derived from genetic modified organizations, trans transgenic plenty products. Uh, there are some examples here. Like, so being corn, canola rice, and the cotton seed. And it's amazing that it's something you don't know. Like the food and the drug administration FDA approved the first GMO crops in 1994 and as of 2011, about 88% of all corn and 94% of all soybeans produced in the U.S. were grown from genetic engineering. And there are like more information about like 93% age, 85, 95, 93, so much. Like almost every food has come from GMF. But I want to say no to GMF. Like mm, there, um, two from the three factors: uh, safety issue, environment, ecology, uh, cancer, and uh, disasters by GMF. Now, uh, we will talk about the safety issue. The first problem is allergicity. Many children in the U.S. or Europe have de developed life-threatening allergies to peanuts and other foods. There is a possibility that introducing a gene into plant may create a new allergy or cause an allergic reaction. And the second is about like, gene transfer. Uh, GMO food potentially could introduce genetic material to cells of body that could have adverse health effects such as antibiotic resistance. The WHO says the World uh, Health Organization says the probability of such a transfer is low and it encourages the use of technology without this. And this, this the last one is about adverse effect on the immune system. Uh, a study in 1928 uh, showed that feeding mice in engineered food for 30 days caused an immune reaction and altered the number of cells that regulated the immune fa functions in the body. Second, we pay attention to effects of GMF on the environment or ecology. Uh, no. Get some more information from which uh, small video. Seventy percent of European citizens say no to tra transgenic foods. Still, you too have long since eaten transgenic foods without even knowing. For example, 70% of worldwide soy production is already genetically modified. Such plants are being produced by the introduction of foreign genes. In this way, two main new characteristics emerge. Either the plants are resistant to phytotoxins, or they produce toxins themselves which kill pests and other animals. These plants then spread uncontrollably as wind and insects disseminate the pollen. 90% of all genetically modified plants are cultivated in America and exported to Europe on a grand scale. All in all, 80% of all transgenic plants are being processed for pet food, 
and are largely fed to production animals. In this way, genetically modified organisms end up in your food too. Legally though, this does not need to be labelled on meat, eggs and milk products. Perhaps you're wondering whether this is dangerous at all. Well, there are already animal studies which document verifiable health consequences. And what's bad for animals can become dangerous for humans too. It's just that no long-term studies have been conducted on this up till now. But wait, we are all part of the long-term study already. And we are all the guinea pigs of the big agricultural companies. So this concerns us all. Our world is no experimental laboratory. Stop genetic manipulation. There are a lot more risks. Get informed. They become infertile and fail to hamish over three generations. Like the third generation lost ability to have babies, high mortality of offspring, and slower growth. Like some even had hair growing in their mouths. Um, second is about test ghost milk. Scientists find that modified DNA sequence in the goat's milk having passed from part of stomach to the blood stream to the unders into the milk. The last is about uh, outgrowing. When GMO crops are located near conventional crops or crop in the wild, there is a potential for seeds to mix by wind or insects. Yeah. And the last about disaster by GMF. Like in India, <coughs> India, uh, around August uh, 2008, 2007, uh, farmers in like north part of India like committed suicide at the rate of roughly one every eight hours. And there is a cause unknown. Sorry, unknown disaster in the past, according to CDC, like about 100 people died and over 5,000 were made sick or disabled. And that's about economic. The farmers uh, lose around 92 million in that. As, uh, again, say no to GMF. I believe if GMF should not uh, allow until it's re re relatively reliable to human in the world. Uh, as Jordan, Michael Jordan believes they can fly. <laughs> <laughs> if we keep eating like GMF, we will lose the next world in months. Thank you. <laughs>